All right, folks, let's talk about something that's as essential to your businesses as coffee is to a Monday morning, product sourcing. Now, if you think product sourcing is just a fancy term for shopping, let me tell you, it's a whole lot more complicated than picking out the right avocado at the grocery store. Seriously, you wouldn't want to be the person who picks the one that's all bruised and sad, right? So grab your note pad because we're diving into the ultimate checklist for stress-free product sourcing. First up, let's talk about clarity. You need to know what you're sourcing. I mean, if you don't know what you want, you might end up with a shipment of rubber duckies when you are actually looking for eco-friendly water bottles. And while rubber duckies are cute and all, they won't exactly help you meet your sustainability goals. So get specific. What are the features? What are the materials? What's the price range? Write it down, make it pretty, whatever it takes. Just know what you want. Next on the list, research your suppliers. You wouldn't buy a car without checking the reviews, right? Well, don't treat your suppliers any differently. Dive deep into their backgrounds. Look for testimonials, check their ratings, and see if they've been featured in any best of lists. And if you find a supplier with a bunch of five-star reviews and one random one-star review saying, Miriam, they sent me a box of rocks, well, you might want to dig deeper into that. Was it a misunderstanding? Or are they just the unfortunate victim of a really bad prank? Who knows, but do your homework. Now let's talk about communication. This is where things can get a bit dicey. You're going to want to establish a clear line of communication with your suppliers. Think of it like being in a relationship. You wouldn't ignore your partner's texts, would you? Well, don't ignore your suppliers either. Make sure they know how to reach you and that you're available to answer questions. And be clear about your expectations. If you want your products to arrive on time, say so. If you need them to be packed a certain way, say that too. Otherwise, you might find yourself with a shipment of water bottles that are all dented up and looking like they just came back from a boxing match. All right, moving on to the next point, samples. Don't skip this step. You wouldn't buy a car without taking it for a test drive, right? So why would you order thousands of units of a product without seeing it in person first? Request samples to check the quality, fit, and overall vibe of the product. And while you're at it, don't be afraid to ask for modifications if something doesn't sit right. This is your chance to refine things before you hit that big order button. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. Pricing. You need to know your numbers. It's easy to get swept away by the excitement of finding a great supplier, but don't forget to ask about all the costs involved. What's the base price? Are there any hidden fees, shipping costs, customs duties? You don't want to be hit with a surprise bill that makes your wallet cry. So make sure you get a full breakdown of Mahai to Baron Kong and compare with other suppliers. You want to make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck without sacrificing quality. Speaking of costs, let's talk about negotiation. This is where you channel your inner business savvy ninja. Don't be afraid to negotiate prices, especially if you're ordering in bulk. Suppliers expect it. It's like a dance. You take a step forward, they take a step back. Just remember to keep it friendly. You want to build a relationship, not a feud. And who knows, you might just end up with a deal that makes you feel like you've won the lottery. Now, let's not forget about lab times. This is crucial. You need to know how long it's going to take for your products to be ready and shipped. If you're launching a new product, you don't want to be sitting around twiddling your thumbs while your competitors are out there making sales. So ask your supplier for a clear timeline and factor in some buffer time. Trust me. It's better to have your products ready early than to be scrambling at the last minute. And while we're on the topic of timelines, let's discuss inventory management. This isn't just about sourcing, it's about planning for the future. You need to keep track of what you have, what you need, and when you need it. It's like playing Tetris. You wanna make sure all the pieces fit together. Use inventory management software if you have to. It'll save you headaches down the line. You don't want to be that person who has to explain to their customers why the product they ordered is out of stock. Next up, quality control. This is where things can get a little tricky. Once your products arrive, it's time to inspect them. Don't just assume everything is peachy keen. Check for defects, inconsistencies, or anything that looks off. 
You don't want to be the brand that sends out subpar products and ends up with a bunch of angry customers. If you notice any issues, address them with your supplier immediately. You want to maintain that relationship, but you also want to make sure you're putting out quality products. Now let's talk about shipping. This is where the rubber meets the road, literally. You need to know how your products are getting from point A to point B. Will they be shipped by air, sea, or some mysterious teleportation method? And how long will it take? Make sure you're clear about shipping methods and costs up front. And don't forget about tracking. You want to be able to keep an eye on your shipment, shipment as it makes its way to you. It's like tracking your pizza delivery, except this time you're not just waiting for cheesy goodness, but for the products that will keep your business running. And here's a pro tip. Always have a backup plan. Things happen. Suppliers can run into issues. Shipping can get delayed. And sometimes the universe just decides to throw a curveball your way. So have a backup supplier in mind, just in case. It's like having a spare tire in your trunk. You hope you never have to use it, but it's nice to know it's there if you need it. Now let's wrap this up with a little reflection. Product sourcing isn't just about finding stuff. It's about building relationships, understanding your market, and delivering quality to your customers. It's a journey, and like any good journey, it comes with its bumps and turns. But with this ultimate checklist in hand, you can navigate the world of product sourcing like a pro. So there you have it, your ultimate checklist for stress-free product own sourcing. Keep it in your back pocket, refer to it often, and remember, sourcing is not just a task, it's an art form. And when you get it right, you'll be the Picasso of product sourcing, creating masterpieces that your customers will love. Now go forth and source like the superstar you are.